Greetings high fans, welcome to another video where I help you play Hive like a champion. This is a game I recently played on Board Space, a, a very new player. I'll tell you more about the player at the end of the end of the video. Very interesting. I recently heard that there are no losing games of Hive. There's only learning games of Hive. Sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. If you are improving, you're learning, not just losing. And so this is a good example of what we're going to call the mosquito shutdown, a term that's in the Hive lexicon, which there'll be a note down below to see. So let's go ahead and get playing. Play. Nino is playing white, opens with a grasshopper. I follow with a ladybug, ant, queen, and my opponent elects to play the queen in line. And I play an anti-spawn defense, ladybug, queen, pill bug, in line. He gets his pill bug in early, which is a very good idea. I play the mosquito, and he attacks with his ant. Now this is interesting because by attacking to this spot, it does allow me to exit with the ladybug, but that takes away a good defender. So right at the moment, I'm not in a huge rush to do that. It does, however, set up this spot as a beetle factory. And I knew from talking to someone very close to my opponent that he is very aggressive and sure enough follows with his beetle probably should have placed the beetle in the inside the beetle factory i'm able to pin it with the mosquito he plays his second beetle i'm able to pin it with my ant and if you notice i am using the the new feature at board space relatively new feature at board space where you can see the last two moves are highlighted plays his mosquito in the beetle factory and this would seem like there's nothing I can do to stop that mosquito from climbing up because of course that spot inside the beetle factory is a pin proof spawn point but the mosquito shutdown occurs when my mosquito climbs atop his beetle and lo and behold his mosquito no longer has beetle power it does have grasshopper power and attacks but at this point in time, I'm reasonably certain that I'm not going to lose because it's going to be very difficult for my opponent to qualify for the win. So here's the lesson from this game. Watch for the mosquito shutdown. I played an ant anchoring down my pill bug. I don't want the pill bug to be warped away. That would be the only way that my opponent could qualify for the win or the most likely way to qualify for the win. I cap off the beetle mosquito stack. And from this point forward, it's just more or less a matter of time. I get a beetle up. He's looking to possibly warp my pill bug away, which would be one way to qualify for the win. I just slide it over. And my beetles continue their march. And at this point, more or less, it's all over but the crying, as nothing can stop my beetles from moving forward. Qualifying for the win by covering the queen and then covering the pill bug. And throughout this entire game, I'm not concerned because if he ever takes the setup shot, then I warp the queen away. So when he releases the pen on my ant, I go ahead and attack. He takes the setup shot. My ladybug jumps out. Now, at this point in time, he could move his beetle away, but I have enough bugs in play that I would not have a problem winning anyway. He goes ahead and takes a setup shot, and even though I could win it on this turn, this is a new player, and I want to show him, demonstrate to him, 
why you have to qualify for the win. So I warp out the queen, and then I take the kill shot. Very, very good game. Excellent example of the mosquito shutdown. When you have the opportunity, you have a beetle, and you have a mosquito next to that beetle, but your opponent can take their mosquito and climb atop the beetle, your mosquito loses beetle power. That's the power of the mosquito shutdown. Now let's talk a little bit about Nino Eagle 7. This is Nico from Texas. Hi, Nico. He's only seven years old, will be eight in August. So a very, very young Hive player. His father tells me that he regularly beats him. That Nino, I'm sorry, Nico, is, Nino is his nickname. Nico regularly beats his father. Uh, we learned this in a Hive coaching session that I was doing with his father, Luis. So thanks, Nico, for the game. I appreciate it. Uh, I had the opportunity also to send him a signed copy of my book, so thank you for showing an interest in Hive, Nico, and being the youngest Hive player that I know of playing the game right now. So, as always, I'm here helping you play Hive like a champion. Until next time, this is Randy Ingersoll signing off.